We're seeing customers that are on a budget uh, definitely changing behavior. They're uh, smaller basket sizes, buying more own brand products, things like that to stretch their budget, uh, shopping more frequently and spending less per trip. Uh, people that aren't to under th those economic strains are continuing to behave the same in terms of, you know, if you look at uh, higher end wines, uh, Starbucks, things like that, they're continuing to spend as they were even beforehand. What do we make about these articles that we've seen lately? That the supermarkets are losing the food fight, that some of these big uh, box grocers are able to undercut your pricing? Well, for us, it's one of the things that, you know, the customer always benefits. And if you look at the value we offer, we offer customers incredible value when you look at uh, the everyday pricing, but the promotional activity, our rewards program, fuel rewards, and all those things. So a customer can shop with us at the same price. Uh, you know, we've invested and lowered our pricing for multiple years in a row. And that's one of the reasons why we're so confident when the FTC looks at the detail uh, that we'll be able to share that the customer benefits, our associates benefit, and the communities benefit from the merger. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at CNBC.com or give us a call at 1 800 743 CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.